We're on to the fan home. Magazine 26 of the Build the Enterprise D. Park hits 100. Hi guys, Ralph here. So, Magazine 26 of the Fan Home Build the Enterprise D. Part kit 100 of 120. And the last magazine, we've obviously got this up to 102, and then up to 6, 110, 114, 118. The last two are not much apart from this nice little thing comes on, and so does the one on the other side. So we've got stickers on the last couple. So we've got on here, we've got a different phaser bar because this edge bit is rounded off because this is the end of one side some windows some light blocking some more lifeboats different window i think i've got a couple of old windows anyway the back section for the secondary hull and another big panel to go somewhere on the back over here so let's get this unbagged and put things in place and i'll start building Right, everything's ready. Number 100. So this is going to be something really big and it's going to be a, a, it is a very big piece to be honest. So start off with a nice little red part on the side there, meaning the warning at the end of the phaser bank. Do not walk over here. Mm, all right. So I've got lifeboats. I'm not touching the lifeboats. I'm not touching the windows. Oh, okay. Cool, so I want lifeboats, how many do I want? Oh, five. I've already got plenty already pre-cut. If you're putting these in, make sure that this is outwards and you put the lifeboats in that away. So the red line is down towards the phaser. I, on the other hand, I'm using the, um, the Mike Lane mods for the lifeboats. And I don't need to, because mine can go wherever they want, and it's fine. Because I'm going to put rub-on transfers afterwards when these are already on the ship. So I haven't got to faff too much with them. So let's get rid of all these windows. I don't think I need any of these anyway. Put those away. So what do I need? Do I need the R? Yes, I need the R. Goes in there. Or is that a H? That is an R. So there's an R in there. And then I need this long one here to go in there and that doesn't seem to fit right it does but it doesn't but it does actually are they the reflective parts or are they these parts no they're them okay definitely those pieces because they're oddball little weird shapes cool so those will go on something else in a minute it's probably going over here anyway for the light reflection cool so let me get some screws i've got an am for this one i've got two im screws for this and I'll just see why that's not sitting flush on there a second. It seemed to go in that one all right, but it doesn't cover over that one well. It's all I've got to do is hold things in so it doesn't fall out. You see what I mean? They're, they're almost the right way around, but they're not. <laughs> so let's get some screws, get some parts picked up from the floor. <laughs> What's that? It's upside down. No, it's got to be that way around or that way around. No, that looks stupid. I mean, it would go, but there's so much light um, going into it, it'd be ridiculous. So I'll put the screws in place. I'll even put, I might put the windows in place in a second. So give me one sec. With that piece in place, I'm not quite happy because they're not actually that level, these. That they're kind of, that piece there is shockingly bad. I'm hoping that maybe when it's put into place, it might push up, but that's just, hmm. So anyway, onto the next bit, I've got one, the windows on here, there's one big one that goes in the middle there, and the rest are black and white ones, which is fine. They just go one way, I think, these. Yeah, why a huge window there? That's weird. So I want clear to the side. These go in one way, I think. So the longer piece is at the top. Nope, it's the longer piece at the bottom. There you go. So hopefully that's flush. That's cool. These are fiddly. Got a little tab on the bottom of these, so that wants to go facing where I am. Cool. These are, these are quite fiddly now. It's getting annoying. <laughs> so in place, in place. I mean. 
Uh, anybody asked me to do this again, I probably would say no. But it is a very re rewarding thing to do, to have something like this. And people have been saying for, for, for years now on this, they'll never, ever, ever do this. It's costing a fortune. Yeah, it is, but it's, it's fun doing it. It's frustratingly fun. And he says he's not going to do another one of these, but he's already looking at the Millennium Falcon. I know that's got faults with it. They all have faults with it. This is the problem. Because we came into this thinking, oh, it's the Enterprise. Hold on a minute, that's missing. So with eyes like that, of course we're all going to think it's, it's not very good. But that's the whole thing with it. I put those wrong around. No, I haven't. So, play window. It's as simple as this. And as soon as you sneeze, it goes everywhere. And, nope. And, you, no, yep, no, yes. There you go. Right, now I need the pieces here. The Where are we? So with that way around, I want the BR piece. I never understand why that little bloody nubbin's there. It's stupid. It doesn't hold anything in place. And that piece there wants to be with the little notch facing me, is it? Because that's there. Goes over. Be very careful until this is properly screwed into place. Because you will pop things out. <sighs> so then after that, I'm going to put this phaser bank on here. There's going to be two DP screws going through here and here. That will go underneath like that. Got an AM screws on all these three. I'll back when it's done. So those parts are in place. I've actually noticed something on here where it shows you um, these parts here. The BP, obviously that's not exactly right. So it shows that way. But on here it's actually showing you the R which is upside down to reading it. But that's actually back to front. But there's this notch here. It doesn't go the other way around. Because the piece is like this. Because that notch definitely looks like it's there. Hmm, I could be wrong, I could have to redo that bit, but I think we've got it right. So, the phaser bank's in place, was in place there. The only thing I hate about this is this phaser bank bit. I wish I'd have got round to doing the uh, 3D printed version of having the full phaser bank. It'd have been amazing. Or if there's some sort of cover you could put over these and just, just have the whole piece as one. There are 3D printed files out there for doing the entire, both of the phaser banks as one piece. And then if you've got the, the in the right place, then you could do it. But I don't know how you'd screw the second one in. You'd have to glue one of them in. There's no way in hell you could do that. You can screw, screw one in, no problem. It's just when they butt up, they just don't seem to go. There's a little gap sometimes. So that's done. I mean, yeah, he has got a notch, but the R's upside down. It's probably just a printing error, I hope. I mean, that's not as much as an R on there, but I'm just, yeah, splitting hairs. Right, let's get onto the secondary hull and put this on, hopefully. Oh, okay, no, we're gonna wait. <laughs> Thanks, okay, so that's just basically, stage 100 is make that one part. So, apologies if you wanted a longer video, you might have to wait until the next one. But that is st stage 100 assembly, it's basically making that and you've got this part for later. Uh, keep the battle section lower, right, yeah, use next stage 101. Cool, there we go, 100 done. 20 to go. Thanks for watching, please like, share, subscribe, follow me on social media, consider being a Patreon, consider a donation, consider being a YouTube member. Help me out any way you like. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in another video. Bye bye for now.